John 10, 10. The thief cometh not, but for to steal. Look at this. And to kill and to destroy. This is Satan's assignment. When it comes to your life, he will steal, he will kill and he will destroy. The same way God schedules men to give you opportunities. Satan is a robber. Ladies and gentlemen, let me list for you a few things that he steals. He steals years. He steals destinies. He steals relationships. He steals resources. He steals your convictions. He steals your discernment. Like I taught you two weeks ago, he steals your ability to see. There are thieves that when they come to your house, is your money direct money they don't have the time to carry rice to carry beans to carry yam that's not part of what they are looking for they need something they can take immediately not satan when satan steps into a life he does not even spare anything your joy he will take your peace he will take your relationships he will take how do you know satan has visited a man please listen to me because there will always be perpetual depletion decline pain, losses, tragedies. Satan for you. You see a man of God who was vibrant, on fire, loving Jesus, commanding signs and wonders. And with all due respect, years later, no vibrancy, no fire is all gone. Where is your influence? He stole it. Your reputation? He stole it. Your integrity is gone. The name God gave you is gone. Listen, if you let Satan, he would destroy you. My assignment tonight is not just to announce this. There are some prayers who are going to pray in this place that everything Satan has stolen in the name that is above all names, I'm praying for you, it must be restored this night. Not next week, it must be restored this night. There are people some of them listening to me now once upon a time you could build a house for people without thinking twice today you can plead for twenty thousand naira your brain did not disappear satan visited you once great once blessed once anointed once upon a time with all due respect around the world there are many vibrant people who used to serve the lord with energy if you hear that they are coming to town or you hear that they are coming to a nation, I mean, you just have to pray that you are even able to reach there. But today they call on a nation and nobody answers. Can I tell you, the worst thing that can happen to a man is to once be in a position where God places you and then in your lifetime and also in the presence of those you raised, you go down. I forbid it over your life. <laughs> Hallelujah. Some of your parents, some of our parents, in their lifetime, they were blessed, they loved Jesus, they had influence. Some of you saw people line up in your houses just to see your parents. But in old age, they are alone. Everybody, you had to change your surname because if you still use that name, it may program failure for you. Come on now, Satan for you. And don't let Satan lie to you taking advantage of age. You are not the first person to be old. Refuse that thing that the older you are getting, the more you should deteriorate. I don't know about you, but I choose to reject it. No, as my days are, so shall my strength be. This is what my Bible teaches me. If you don't believe this, you will get into trouble. One day you will wake up, a young man, 30, 40 years, you stand up as if you are 80 years. Reject that spirit. It's like a part of me does not want to get up. No, everything God gave me must obey me. Everything. If it's part of my body must obey me. I wake up in the morning, my head you must wake up. My heart you wake up too. My respiratory system you must wake up. Speak to your body in one minute. In the name of Jesus, I will not die. I challenge every health condition. You bow to the name of Jesus. My eyes will see till my days are done. My feet will walk till my days are done. My hands will reach till my days are done. Go ahead, take a minute and speak. No weakness, no limitation, strength in my body. I cause cancer. I cause fibroid. 
I cause prostate cancer. I cause eye condition, cataract, glaucoma. I cause you in the name of Jesus. Oh, 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 The prophetic controls restoration. The prophetic controls redemption. The prophetic controls deliverance. When it is administered within the boundary of scripture, it works wonders. There are some of you, you have cried unto the Lord in secret, but this deliverance will not come through your own prayers. No, but I know that this shall turn to my salvation through your prayer in partnership with the supply of the spirit of jesus christ in one minute right where you are i'd like you to begin to pray thou son of david have mercy upon me thou son of david have mercy upon me is a businessman praying is a man of god who has lost his glory lost the grace and the favor Parash kateba la kasiata egra katepa katepa katapa rakatos skata prakata bela kata pras kata bela kata bakata and i know that this shall turn for my salvation through your prayer and i know that this shall turn for my salvation through your prayer and the supply of the Spirit of Christ Jesus. Go ahead and pray. Let the doors open again, O oh God. Let the favor come again. Let my honor return again. Let my hair grow back again. Let shame and reproach leave my destiny. Let the statement Ichabod give way. Go ahead and pray. Please Koinonia pray. Where is that grace that was once upon me that I never had to beg for jobs? Let it return, oh God. Restore, 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 redeem, deliver. Deliver by the Spirit. The Lord will rescue us from every evil attack, the Bible says, and to bring us safely to his heavenly kingdom. Prodigal son, your father is still alive. There is still hope for the signet ring to return to your hands. Someone pray. You can pray for your loved ones. We give you worship, worship, the highest praise to the King. We give you worship, worship, the deepest praise to the King. Muima Kasujada. Muima Kaukaka. We give you the highest. Holy hands, I praise 
You have taken all my shame You have taken all the weakness You have taken all limitations You have taken all the sorrow You have taken away disappointment You've taken away my tears You have made them yours By the arm of flesh I cannot prevail. One more minute. You are pouring your hearts before Jesus, the deliverer, the helper, the restorer, the redeemer. His arms are not too short that it cannot save. His ears are not too dull that he cannot hear. Your iniquity has brought a separation between you and him. Pray the prayer of the prodigal son. For someone you need to pray the prayer of Jonah. For someone you need to pray the prayer of Hezekiah. The prayer of Hezekiah. Only the living can praise you. The dead cannot praise you. The weak cannot praise you. The defeated cannot praise you. Arise for your name's sake in my life. Hallelujah. 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 Every once and again in scripture, you will read a very comforting rendition after tragedies and the Lord remembered and the Lord remembered Sarah and the Lord remembered Hannah and the Lord remembered Rachel and the Lord remembered Leah and the Lord remembered Joshua Selman and the Lord remembered Koinonia I, 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 I. In one minute before I speak over your life, I want you to mention the areas where deliverance must come for you now. Please mention it before God. Some of you, you have lost your honor. You have lost your reputation. You have lost your integrity. Cry restore. Some of you, you have lost the capacity, that grace for wealth. Some of you, you have lost certain dimensions of the operations of the spirit. Some of you, you have lost the gift of man. Go ahead and pray. What's that our song on restoration? Take it higher for me. 
restore everything that was lost restore everything that was stolen restore everything that was lost restore you will restore restore everything that was lost restore everything that was stolen restore everything that was lost restore you will restore Hallelujah. I want you to receive the prophetic word now. When God sends us, we come in the name of the Lord. Restore everything that was lost. Restore everything that was stolen. Restore the honor that was lost. Restore 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 everything that was lost restore my God everything that was stolen restore everything that was lost restore you will restore come Play the saxophone for me. Go ahead. I want to prophesy. song breathe once or twice huh go ahead and play once I'm just walking by the spirit and when that happens I'm going to begin to speak go ahead Jesus Christ 
let me start with those who have lost things you have lost things in the name that is above all names i'm praying now here at koinonia by the power that raised christ from the dead from abuja to zaria to uk to us to canada across africa koinonia global and indeed the body of christ i stand by the privilege of the election of grace and i decree and declare let there be a restoration now 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 tragic events that don't have an explanation from losses financial depletions the death of loved ones the loss of relationships close doors in the name of jesus the spirit that is behind it i come by the rod of the apostolic and the prophetic i decree and declare that spirit gives way now that spirit gives way now that spirit gives way now Every mark upon your head you may not see it but it keeps calling tragedies to your life in the name of Jesus Christ by the blood of the eternal covenant I wipe that mark from your face now I wipe that mark from your destiny now Hear me. Everyone you have lost favor with, lost touch with, in this place tonight, by the mercy of God, I command restoration. I command reconnection. I command restoration. I command reconnection in the name of Jesus Christ. Hares Kabela Shomaniata. Hallelujah. Now I want to pray specifically for those who are in any kind of financial trouble. I've owed people before. I know what it means. The, 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 the pain only God can explain what it takes to not be able to have a sound sleep because there are bills you are owing whether institutionally whether corporately whether personally none of them is profitable. I pray for you. The same grace that brought the axe head from the waters in the name of Jesus every financial situation you have gotten into that is leaving you now with shame and embarrassment by the power that raised Christ from the dead before the end of 2023 come out of that situation come out of that situation by the ministry of men come out of that situation by the ministry of favor come out of that situation by the ministry of wisdom come out of that situation by the ministry of mercy come out of that situation in the name of Jesus Christ for those who have lost time delay has happened in your life and the truth is that time has gone even if the constraints were taken away from your life it will take grace for you to catch up i pray for you there is speed and there is restoration these are the two mysteries that help men to redeem time the bible says redeeming the time because the days are evil and there are two spiritual forces allocated for time redemption one is called speed another is called restoration when god wants to help you you will experience both restoration brings yesterday into tomorrow speed moves you further into your tomorrow i pray for you by the force of speed and the force of restoration may time be redeemed now may time be recovered now by the forces of speed and the forces of restoration may time be redeemed now everyone here who is under any curse any diabolic manifestation the scourging tongues of men according to job chapter 5 one of the six things that he says god would deliver us from 
anyone who is a victim of that I pray for you here at Koinonia in the name of Jesus be delivered from any and all evil be delivered from any and all evil now hear me some of you perhaps what you are going through is because of the pain that you cause for others maybe in your time of ignorance and you cause pain for maybe your parents or you cause pain for a man of God and in their pain or some woman some intercessor and some of them in their pain they hit their chest and made declarations to the heaven that you will not prosper some of them have died today some of them have gone away you need help i stand by the advantage of priesthood everybody who has spoken negatively maybe your biological parents maybe a man of god you ignored maybe somebody that you caused pain in their life in their family i call upon the god of all grace and mercy this night let that curse come to an end over your life let that curse come to an end over your life where they said you will die i prophesy leave where they said you will fail i prophesy go and excel where they said your children would do the same negative thing i midwife by prophecy may your children be beulah and hepzibah in the name of jesus christ that out of their pain they said it will never be well with you I call upon the God of mercy because today you are the righteous I say to you it shall be well Hezekiah where Isaiah has told you the sickness is unto death I stand in the name of Jesus Christ as an able minister of the New Testament and I pray for you live long and fulfill your days Live long and fulfill your days. Let me prophesy to Ruth. You've lost your husband, lost your children. And you have said, do not call me all that name. Call me Mara. It is bitter. Call me all of that. And Naomi has tried to comfort you. Oh Ruth, hear the word of the Lord. There is still the second phase of your life. You are yet to meet Boaz. You are yet to become part of the lineage of Jesus. Therefore, by prophecy, I open up the new season of your life. Gideon, you may be the weakest and your father's house the weakest. But in the name of Jesus, I speak to you like the angel spoke to Gideon. From tonight, go in this your might. Hallelujah. You may be like Mary and Martha. Martha said if you had come earlier, he would, have, he would not have died. But I like what she said. Even now, even now, even now. It didn't happen in 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022. But even now, even now, November, I decree and declare, may your eyes see your desire before December. The final prophetic declaration please hear me every grace that God has deposited in this house that is not yet speaking in your life I release my faith one more time in the name of Jesus perhaps through dishonor perhaps through carelessness lack of discernment all of these things that I mentioned you are not having it work in your life I agree with you by faith and we stand together as a noble family of faith I declare may this grace rest on your life May this grace rest on your life. <laughs> Hallelujah. When Sarah bore Isaac, she named him laughter. And she said that God has made me to laugh. And all who hear me will laugh with me. I decree and declare by this prophetic word, let crying, mourning, weeping come to an end. Because the Bible says, weeping may endure for the night, but it says joy comes with the morning. And the Bible says he called the light day and the darkness he called night. That means when light comes, it is your day. Now that light has come, I command the night to cease. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Please give Jesus a big hand clap.
celebrate your victory hallelujah hallelujah